Imagine going through a time where no matter what you did, or how much you proved yourself, you would endure racism, prejudice, and unfair treatment. Courage and Tenacity This is the story of the 442nd Infantry Regiment, the most decorated in the history of American warfare. During World War II, less than two months after the Pearl Harbor bombing in Hawaii, Executive Order 9066 was signed by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Executive Order 9066 was created to evacuate all Japanese Americans from the West Coast. This caused the relocation of approximately 120,000 people, with the majority of them being American citizens. In Hawaii, most of the population was comprised of Japanese Americans, so it was deemed unnecessary for Japanese American relocation, as it was also opposed by business, unlike the mainland. When the War Department ordered removal of all Japanese American soldiers, General Delos C. Emmons, the commander of the U.S. Army in Hawaii, decided to keep more than 1,300 soldiers from the 298th and 299th Infantry Regiment. They were later formed into a Hawaiian Provisional Battalion, in fear of a Japanese invasion. This battalion was sent to the mainland to train on June 5, 1942. Only 10 days later, they were designated the 100th Infantry Battalion. The Japanese Americans did so well during training that the U.S. government reversed its decision about the Japanese American soldiers serving in the military. Only 1,500 soldiers were called upon in Hawaii, yet 10,000 men volunteered. Despite all of the racism, the men were able to forgive and were still willing to fight for their country. However, the mainlanders weren't as enthusiastic. Out of the 3,000 called upon, only 1,256 volunteered. It was decided that 3,000 men from Hawaii would be inducted, and only 800 from the mainland. These volunteers formed the 442nd Infantry Regimental Combat Team. Their motto was Go for Broke. The regiment joined forces with the 100th Battalion in Camp Shelby, Mississippi. These Japanese American soldiers had the courage to face some of the most frightening enemies and fight some of the toughest pa battles people can't even begin to think of. The 442nd fought five major battles in Italy and France, always displaying valor wherever they went. The most memorable battle was in the Vosges Mountains in France. This battle was to retrieve soldiers from the 141st Infantry, a part of the 36th Infantry Division, who were surrounded by German soldiers. After the division's two other battalions failed to extract the 141st, the 442nd made a heroic attempt to free the 275 trapped soldiers despite the fact that they have had only two days of rest from fighting for nine days straight. Clearly, this shows their courageous tenacity. It is recalled that after being pinned down under relentless fire, seemingly in unison, the 442nd all stood up and charged their German foe. One by one, they all rushed through the trees, fearlessly looking death straight in the eye. Their fellow brothers in arms falling left and right, they eventually overcame the German foe and continued to courageously push them back until they reached the cathedral, the next town over. At the end of the battle, 2,000 men were wounded, 43 were missing, and 161 men were killed in the 442nd. They managed to rescue 211 men from the 141st, but only 800 men were left in their whole regiment. Their values were clearly shown in this battle, as they always valued others before themselves. That is the heroic story of the 442nd. After the war, the 442nd earned 9,486 Purple Hearts, 21 Medals of Honor, and 8 Presidential Unit Citations. Like all of the Allied soldiers in World War II, the 442nd fought Germans. However, they, conqu they conquered the battle of racism by being the best soldiers they can be.